Thank you. And it seems that the issue at hand is the appointment of a new Crime Stoppers coordinator who would be in charge of receiving and relaying anonymous tips. Billboards and flyers in the city of Westlake advertise it. Public announcements that ask for your help in solving city crimes. But it's not the information that is causing controversy. It's the listed telephone number. During the last few weeks, the police has chosen to publicize the department number rather than the usual Crime Stoppers hotline. It's confusing because, you know, we've been actively working with, with the police department. Uh, our, our Crop Stoppers program is, is, is active, is functional, is working like it always has worked. However, according to the police department, the problem originated when the former program coordinator, a police officer in charge of receiving and relaying anonymous information, left his position about four months ago and was filled by a member of the board as interim while they named a permanent replacement. Yes, that we are getting the tips, but we're getting them at the end of the week. So if there is a tip that we need at that specific time, that's going to be a problem. Uh, another big problem that we see is that the person the, uh, handling the phone right now is not bilingual. So somebody that, that, that only talks Spanish and wants to give us a good information about a, a certain case, uh, they won't be able to communicate with the person handling the phone right now. Even though Salinas admits the selection process has been slow, he says it's been necessary as they've been working on improving the program. I think everybody feels like it's something that can be done quickly, right. uh, you know, a matter of turning over the phone, for example, but that's not how it works. What we're doing is, is developing policies and procedures that will help to protect the integrity of the program. The president insists that the public continue to use a Crime Stoppers hotline, assuring that it's the most reliable way to remain anonymous, but for now police will not promote it until the board makes its final decision. Now both sides say they hope to come to an agreement in the next couple of weeks once the new coordinator is appointed and finishes the required policy training. Oscar Morgan, Fox 2 News.